What do you do, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Casino Channel 329. Today is the day number number eight. Okay, day number eight. Uh, daily target is 0 30. Okay, stop loss is set at 14.56. Okay, and today I'm going to test this brand new tool. Hopefully the opportunity will arise and I'll be able to show this tool in action. So first of all, shout out to Roulette Profit in Stop, Profit and Stop. Okay, so um, I just got the um, Quadrant tool. It's this one right here. Right, This one right here you can see on the right hand side. And if you want to get this tool or any other tools so we can see the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tools available. Okay, just come over here to this website and you can find more information about the tools. Okay, guys, so Roulette Profit in Stop created this nice tool. And if you go to his page, you can find um, lots of videos demonstrating how the tool, the tools operate. Okay, so if you have any questions, just reach out to him and he will explain to you what you should know about the tools. Obviously, the tool doesn't guarantee wins, but... Um, guide you essentially so it just it serves you as guidance that's it it does not give you guaranteed wins okay guys so you have to use it wisely and um you know it doesn't work all the time but at least you can bet uh knowing what's up on the table without betting whereas um when you have no tools you just bet blindly okay guys you just go with guess oh look at this zero three times in a row damn but yeah uh we're gonna use this tool and we also going to use draw group group here too okay guys so this one is going to give me the triggers about uh, even odds blacks low highs dozens rows and quads and straight numbers right there so 4 15 uh, 25 quads and 50 55 meters on straight numbers and the quadrant tool will give me the guidance for the quadrants okay so i'm going to explain more about in a minute let me just input the last few numbers 16 10 34 uh 16 10 34 so 29 um 29 i've got triple zero triple zero 30 13 one two three um this is a good bet 30 and 13 uh what else we got going on yeah that's it okay so now uh oh god damn it. now uh let me get the other quadrant okay now we're gonna put these last few numbers on the quadrant tool okay so i'm gonna put the numbers and then i'm gonna explain to you uh how it works so 29 31 27 31 27 27 again they got 34, uh, 16, 31, 30, 16, 31, 30, 16, 31, 30, 23, 23, 22, damn, 23, 23, 22, repeats a lot of numbers. Uh, we got 32, 0, 34, 32, 0, we got 34, 34 is highlighted there, uh, we got 32, 9, 16, 32, 9, and 16, okay, we got 10, 20, 34, 20, 10, 34, and we got 20, and actually, this table is not really paying out uh, multipliers, as you can see right here, it's been a lot of, lot of num num numbers without paying the multipliers, so... I might switch tables because uh, the whole reason I'm playing on this table is because of the multipliers. But now looking at it, I, I don't see any multipliers. But anyway, let's continue and then I'll check it out. So um, 34 was the last number. We got 9, triple 0, 9, 0, 0, 0. And we got 30, 13, 35, 30, 13, 35. Okay, one multiplier. We got 15 and 21, 15 and 21. Right, so we got the last few numbers and now we can see that we have some numbers, okay? So these top numbers right here, highlighted in white, these represent the numbers that um, the ball has landed on a quadrant. So we can see we got a quadrant number one, 
it goes from 22 to 0. So 10 numbers here. We got the quadrant number 2 goes from 32 to 34. Okay. We got the quadrant 3 goes from number 6 to number 10. Nine numbers. Nine numbers. Only this one has 10 numbers in quadrant 1. And then quadrant number 4 goes from number 5 till number 9. Okay, guys. So these top numbers right here in white represents the numbers that a ball has landed on the quadrant. So, for example, the quadrant one, the ball landed seven times. Quadrant two, quadrant two, the ball landed two times, eight times. Quadrant three, ball landed eight times, and this one seven times. And these ones right here, highlighted in black, means um, number of misses. So, for example, the ball hasn't landed on quadrant number one for two times, two misses. Okay, this one, zero misses because the last number that I registered was number 21. And number 21 is right here on the quadrant number two. Okay, so this one is missing for eight spins. And this one is missing, sorry, is missing for three spins. And this one is missing for eight spins. Okay, and we have a trigger right here. So once, let me reduce so you can see it. So once the trigger gets hit so for example in this case it's set for eight will be highlighted showing you that okay this quadrant so the numbers from nine to five haven't been hit in eight times so if you want to place a bet go ahead and place your bet that's it okay so it's set for 15 because I've, I've done a back test yesterday and the highest i've seen was 21 or 22 misses okay so that's why we can see 13 right there okay so let's continue so we got number 21 was the last number. So now we got 23. We have 13. And we have 7. Okay. We can see that. Uh, so usually what Rowlett Profit Stop says is uh, you have to look for a three-point difference. Okay. So 8, 8, no difference. Uh, 8, 10. So it's two-point difference. Uh, 10 and 7 is three-point difference. And 7 and 8 is 1 point difference. We can also see inside. So this one, you got 3 point differences. And this one, we have 10 point difference. So everything indicates that the best bet is to go on this quadrant. Because this quadrant is missing for 11 spins. So we got number 7. We got number 23 again. So 23. And um, number qu quadrant number 4 goes from 5 to 9. So we got number 1 right here. So you place on one and four neighbors. So one, two, three, four here. One, two, three, four there. Okay, so quadrant four. Let me just go over here. Uh, quadrant four. Um, is it four neighbors? Uh, one neighbor. One and four neighbors. Four ends. Uh, what was the number? Okay, it's gone now. Number one just came out, so this one's going to be reset it, okay? So I was about to play this one, but just came out, so forget about it. And we can see now the one that's missing for five spins is this one right here, okay? So this one, the quadrant number two, is missing for five spins. So he says usually, you know, uh, you go when you see three points difference, okay? So right now, we can see that we have a three-point difference, so eight here. We got 11 here, so that's three point difference. So now we got number 24. Uh, 24 was here, over here, quadrant number two. Uh, let me just go ahead. So this one is one, so one, two, three, four. So 11, one, two, three, four. Um, so quadrant number three is number 11. Quadrant number two. Is numbers one two three four one one two three four quadrant two is twenty one is twenty one I need to and quadrants number one is one two three four one two three four so it's twenty eight one two three four so it's twenty eight neighbors four neighbors and the zero. 28 plus 0. Okay, so now we have this. I should have done this before the video, but at least you know. So let's have a look. 
at the history so last number registering was the 20 watts for four so now we got 21 we can see that this one is gone so right now we can see this one is the highest count of misses okay so we got number 17 okay so when you see the yellow dot over here it says go for it so you go for 17 and four neighbors so 17 and four numbers to the to the left and four numbers to the side so let's have a look and see how it goes and again um my balance is not big okay so i only have a few shots my stop loss is at 14.5 so that means i have just about five bucks to spend okay so five bucks if i place uh, nine numbers gonna be i have five spins in those five spins i have to score otherwise i will be out of the game um let's go back uh number 17 again oh right on 17 17 and that would be a hit okay because 17 is highlighted and 17 still highlighted okay let me just update the jewel group here too so 30 13 uh where is 30 whew, where is 30 13 30 13 35 15 21 35 15 and we got 21 uh 23 13 7 23 13 7 by the way guys the links for both of the tools will be in the description of this video if you're interested in the tools you know go ahead and check them out right so 7 13 7 13 7 so 23 1 24 23 1 24 uh we got 21 17 17 5 21 17 17 and we got number five okay so now we all caught up so we can see this corner right here um 25 26 28 29 is missing for 38 spins and this one 28 29 31 32 just got just popped up okay and we also have two four seven ten eleven numbers too many numbers okay we got another number 13 13 boom right there and uh, let's go for the two why well, this is not like this okay let me put this down a little bit right there um so last number was 17 did we play 17 twice yes we did so five and we had 13. so i'm not really sure when to place a bet when there is a three point difference because right now we have 3.17 again right now we have a three point difference okay but i'm not really sure so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wait for the trigger okay so we can see this quadrant quadrant number one is missing for nine spins okay so i'm gonna wait for it and um yeah let's see what happens so i'm because i'm not really sure when to when to go when there is a three point difference so i'm gonna wait for the quadrant to be highlighted that's 10 13 and then um if it gets highlighted i'm gonna play my bet on 28 number neighbors and um yeah that's it so 13 that was 17 15 okay it's missing for 10 spins um 17 13 17 and 15 okay we got a a bet over here huh why well, this one is 25 to 36. okay this one was hidden we have um a dozen that's missing for 15 spins and we also have this corner right here so we're gonna play that ah oh, man it just came out god damn it too slow too slow so 29 came out just reset it and uh, yeah i was like i'm gonna play this call this dozen and um these two corners right here 29 wasn't a trigger number but uh, it was on a corner and that corner missed for 28 spins so 29 we just missed a good opportunity there 
So we can see that red evens are missing for eight spins and the reds are missing for four spins. And right now we got nothing else going on, 29. So I'm gonna pause the video and then uh, whenever I find the opportunity or I feel like there is an opportunity, I'm gonna press record and show you what happens. Okay, we have this play right here, eight, 11, 12 and a corner. So let's go, eight, 11, 12, and the corner right there. So we're gonna have that play and let's see how it goes. So he's been missing for, so that was 33. Yeah, 33, 27, 33. So that's missing. So that corner is missing for 26 pins now. Okay, and the number eight, 11 and 12 are missing for 85 spins. Okay, so let's see if we can get the jackpot there. So number four, that's a miss. Okay, we're gonna go for the second spin. We're gonna do the Fibonacci. Second spin, and um, that was number four. Let's update it here. One to 18 is gone. So hopefully we're gonna get a hit on these numbers. So on the third spin, uh, I'm not gonna uh, Fibonacci the numbers. I'm just going to Fibonacci the quad. Okay. Let's see what we got. Number four again. This table is repeated numbers a lot. Number four. And we're going to repeat the bets and place one chip over here. So this is going to be the third spin. So number four, number four, 33, number four is right there. So the opposite. So this is going to be the third spin. Remember the stop loss is at 1456. So we're still far away from it. So we're down 130 now. <clears throat> Yes, sir. We just made our book. 350. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. We did it. Shout out to Roulette Profit and Stop for this nice tool. Unfortunately, I didn't get to use it. And also shout out to Joe Croupier for the tool. Thanks to the tool, I managed to get a hit on number 11. Right? So, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful for that. So that's it. Job done. 350 right there. So new balance is 2430. 2430. 24.30. Right there. And another winning day. Beautiful. So yeah, I haven't had a chance to use the quadrant tool yet. Because I'm still getting the hang of it. You know. So number 22. I'm still getting the hang of it. So probably, you know, roll it profit in stop. If you're watching this, um, giving a tutorial, a step-by-step -step tutorial, like for, for beginners, like for five years old, how to use this tool, because it's a nice tool. It gives you an idea where the ball is landing. But uh, my question is, I don't know when to deploy a bet. Okay. So for example, now over here, we got difference of four. Okay. Over here, we got di no difference. And this one and this one, we got difference of four as well. So what should I do in this case? Or for example, in this case, we got difference of four, we got difference of three, we got difference of two, difference of one and difference of two. So I don't really know what to do because um, when you have more than one option, more than one difference, so we got one over here and one over here. We have one over here, we got one over here, one over here, one over here. So we got many options. So I don't really know what to do in this scenario, right? So if you're watching this, let me know what would you do or how to do it, how to approach it so I can have a better idea. And hopefully next time, next video will be a lot better and I will be able to demonstrate and use this tool properly. Because right now um, I'm just waiting for the trigger, but uh, you know, the trigger never happened. So that was 27 and that was 34. 34, okay. So usually when there is a yellow dot over here, that means you place a number 
you place 34 and four numbers, four neighbors. Okay, so that would be uh, 34 is here. So that would be from 34 to 36 and 34 to 21. So it would be in this section right here. So let's see if he lands there. That's 27. Oh, that would be a hit right on. See, 27 is right there. So that would be a hit. So this yellow dot saying, hey, do this bet. And if I would have gone with this bet, I would have won because 27 is right here. And as you can see, 24 is covering the 27. Well, 24, four neighbors is covering the 27. But yeah, uh, I think I, I, I need a bit more explanation. I need to watch the videos to fully understand. But yeah, if you're watching this, uh, let me know uh, how, how to use it properly when there is three or more points of uh, difference, difference points. So we got number 21. We can see this one is missing for eight spins. So these two quadrants are where the ball is landing more. So 17, 17, 11, 11. So the ball is landing more on this side, quadrant number two and number three. So that means from number 32 all the way to number 10. So number 32 all the way to number 10. So yeah, the ball is landing on over here on top more often than down here at the bottom. So yes, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up because I don't want to, I don't want this video to be too long. And how many spins did we, did we take? Three spins. I love these sessions with two, three spins. I wish I could have these sessions all day long because they are just nice. You get hit, you know, you set up your tools, you get hit and you get out, in and out. That's it. I'm, I'm grateful for that and I'm out of here. And uh, one more thing that I forgot to mention is uh, my take profit. So um, let me write it down. Take profit here. Take profit is um, 40. Okay, because on the last video, I withdrew and started with 20. No, on the video number six, I withdrew 20 something, okay, and restarted with 20 bucks, okay? So now when I double my 20 bucks, which will be at 40, I will um, eventually, if I get there, I will cash out half of the profits, okay? So 20 to 40 is going to be 20 bucks profit, and then I will take half of it. So that means 20 divided by 2 is 10, okay? So I will withdraw 10 and leave 30 to roll over, okay? So then uh, my next take profit will be 60, and you get the idea, right? So 60, you divide it by 2, and the next one is going to be 45. Well, it's going to be 90, and you get the idea, right? So as we go along, I will cash out more, but leave enough balance to continue this challenge okay hope that make that makes sense and uh, yeah you should do the same because um you never know what's going to happen tomorrow so you might as well take profits along the way while you can that being said guys hope you guys enjoyed the video stay tuned in for the next one peace